today we will discuss how to determine the relative molecular mass of an unknown metal bromide using Fajan's method. Let us see the requirements. For this we need a standard solution of silver nitrate. Here it is 0.01 molar. You need NLR metal 1 bromide. You need the indicator EOC which is an adsorption indicator. Then as glass vase you need conical flask, you need a pipette, a pipette filler, funnel, glass rod, you need a burette, burette stand and white tile. The step one is weighing of the metal bromide. 0.3 grams of the metal bromide is accurately weighed and is transferred into 50 ml water in a 100 ml beaker. After that, this solution is stirred well so that it completely dissolves and then it is transferred to a 250 ml volumetric flask using a funnel and then you have to make it up to the mark. I'm attaching the pipette filler onto this 25 ml pipette and then I'm going to pipette out 25 ml of the unknown metal bromide into a conical flask. where we will add the indicator so you can see that 25 ml of the metal bromide which is unknown is transferred into the conical flask now I am going to add three drops of the dye eosine which is the indicator here you can see the color it gives a pale pink color but you cannot see any precipitate it is very clear transparent in the conical flask we have 25 ml of the metal bromide and three drops of the indicator which gives a pink color for this solution it is clear transparent we are going to titrate it with standard solution of silver nitrate. Now, AG plus ions are coming from the burette and you have Br minus ions in the solution. So, as the reaction proceeds, you will be getting an off-white or a cream color of AGBr. Now, it is masked by the color of the indicator, so that is why you are not able to clearly see the precipitate. So, now, these particles, AGBr, they are colloidal in charge, colloidal in nature. So what happens is the, the excess Br minus ions will be surrounding these colloidal particles giving it a slight negative charge. You have the free indicator ions, the eosinate ions which are standing in the solution. Now the Br minus ions are being removed or replaced as AGBR. So observe the conical flask carefully. Now, when all the Br minus ions are being replaced as AGBR, one excess drop of silver nitrate, which will make these colloidal particles positive in charge, and that time the eosinate ions are preferentially adsorbed than the nitrate ions in the solution, which will give you a pink color to the precipitate. So the white precipitate or the colloidal particles change into pink color which is your end point. Also you can observe that at the end point the colloidal particles will coagulate, they will grow in size. So that is also another observation which will make this method very clear and accurate. You can see now the pink dye has been got adsorbed you can see the coagulation has reached so this is your end point the particles have grown in size so the colloidal particles got converted into a precipitate so this will give you a very accurate end point till you get concordant values okay and then you have to do the calculation that is Calculating the RMM 
or later molecular mass of the metal bromide the calculations and the theory of the experiment is already given in the powerpoint thank you